Uh, hey there, this is Anderson East, and I am about to answer all of your amazing, wonderful uh, questions about the Southern Family record that you sent in to Cody Allen and CMT. So thanks to Cody and CMT for giving me the time to be on your various outlets. So let's just get right into this, shall we? Lori from Syracuse. If I ran into you on the street, how would you describe Southern Family and the artist on it? Parenthetically, I would hug you after you explained. Well, that's very sweet. I like hugs, Lori. Thank you. Um, I think that all the songs on there are um, exceptional and worth your time. Um, and yeah, I think they're, I could, I could go deeper, but I think they're all great and I would much rather hear your take on it. Uh, Caitlin from Farmingdale, what was the inspiration behind learning? Um, it was, a, it's a song about my dad and, uh, and just growing up. Uh, Becky from Clinton says, I don't have a question. I just want to say how amazing your song is. Please keep the great music coming. Becky, you're too sweet. That's very kind of you. Uh, Leah from Queens, what artist not on Southern Family CD would you have picked to do a song? Um, hmm, that's tough. That's tough. I think everybody who's on there is is pretty great. Um, if I could pick one more, I don't know, maybe uh, Vince Gill. I think he's great. Rochi. I hope I said that right, from Buenos Aires. What is your favorite thing about being on the Southern Family record? Um, I think it's just great that we're, you know, that for me, just to be on a, on a record with all these people that I admire and look up to is pretty special, for me at least. And Andrea from Mineral Springs, who are your musical influences? Well, Andrea, I feel like we would be here for so long if I even began to answer that question. Uh, Samantha from Charlotte, what is your favorite song on the album other than your own? Oh, man, there's too many to pick from. They're all, I think they are all equally my favorite song. Um, Tina from River Edge. Anderson East, I love your soulful voice and the music you write. Um, who was your inspiration? Um, I think that changes day to day, Tina. Um, there's a lot of people that inspire me and a lot of things that inspire me. And, um, uh, yeah, it's all kind of just dependent on, on what's going around, going around. Um, Connie from New York, what are you most looking forward to in 2016? Um, well, soon we are going to be uh, doing a string of shows with uh, another gentleman that's on the Southern Family record by the name of Chris Stapleton that I'm very much looking forward to. Um, and then just to make some new music coming up. We're excited about all that. Um, see here. Patty from St. Louis. If you only were to give five copies of the new CD, what five people that you don't know would you send CDs to? Patty, I don't really know. Um, I would send one to you because I don't know you and I and I bet you would like it because there's not much to like. So there's one out of four. Um, I would send one to David Duchovny because he's pretty cool. I don't know him, but uh, I would send one to... Uh, I don't know. I would send one to, I'd send the rest to Willie Nelson. Tony from Montreal. Do you feel your sound is different from most artists on this album? Uh, again, I don't, I haven't listened to every song on the record yet. Uh, cause it comes out, uh, in, in a few days. Um, but it's, you know, I don't know. Maybe. You know, I'm nobody sounds exactly like anybody else. Uh, Tammy from Corpus Christi, what's the one thing you learned from doing the Southern Family CD? Uh, 
Hmm. Tammy, I should have read through this before uh, before doing this. I, I don't. I can't really think of something. You know, I I think I came to a a deeper understanding of what uh, Southern family means to other people alongside what it means to me. So I think that was pretty pretty special thing. Uh, Carrie from Fairfax asks, can you tell us how you met Dave Cobb and what it was like working with him? Excuse me. Um, I met Dave actually at uh, this place called the Bluebird. He was there to uh, see another mutual friend of ours play and uh, and I was playing as well and I had to use the restroom uh, pretty badly, so I uh, stopped the show and got up off the stage and went up to the restroom. And apparently, that made big enough of impact on him that he 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 liked me. So uh, we started to work together and became friends from from a bathroom break, pretty much. And uh, you know, it's always it's a, it's always just so much fun and so easy and uh, working with Dave. He has a way of getting to the point getting something special uh, every time he records. So, um, yeah. Shana or Shauna, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but from Greensboro, what is the typical day in the life of Anderson Lisa look like? Um, it is wake up and usually get where you're going and play the show and go back to sleep. That's usually the typical day. It's not... It's not as glamorous as you may think. You know, there's some food and and drink in between there. But other than that, it's just all survival. Uh, Miranda from Reno. How many call you East Anderson by mistake? I think you might be the first one. Uh, Tanya from Indianapolis. How does a CD like Southern Family come about? How do you get picked for it? Uh, it, uh, you know, this was kind of Dave Cobb's you know, brainchild. And he, uh, he wanted to make this kind of concept record about, you know, the American South and, and people's family and what that means to them. So, uh, you know, I guess he, he, he must like me a little bit or he wouldn't ask me. So I guess that's how it works. Uh, Christina from Nashville, when you're not on tour, where do you spend most of your time? Um, uh, home, home, if I can, just at home, but it seems like we are on tour most of the time now, uh, well, well all right, y'all, I guess that is it, I think we're out of questions, um, but thank you for sending them in, um, and the Southern Family record is out today, so you should go buy it, because it's really great, and, uh, and yeah, so thank you, Cody Allen and CMT, uh, for letting all of us hang out and chit chat with each other. Y'all take it easy, and we will see y'all soon.